Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of September going into October in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is Sagittarius, North Node, First House, Semi-Sextile, Cancer, and Pluto. All right. All right. Virgos, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean the partner or person of your interest, but this could represent the energies currently influencing at the present time. Now, with the Sagittarius, there may be some feeling or um, you guys are entering this phase where there's going to be a lot of travel. For some of you guys being around people that you won't or wouldn't naturally be around, uh, this could be exposure to new cultures, uh, new belief systems, um, people from different walks of life. You also do have the North Node here. So this is representing everything that has to do with destiny, everything that has to do with experience, and experience only comes through uh, trials and tribulations. You also do have the first house here. So I feel for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, your first house is being amplified at the present time. So this could represent uh, being in the spotlight, uh, getting a lot of attention or people really being pulled towards you. It's like you are becoming a magnetic, uh, a, a magnet basically attracting or bringing people into your life, into your existence at the present time. Now you also do have here semi-sextile, which is all to do with aligning and allowing. Uh, this is all to do with being encouraging or encouraging other people uh, or you being encouraged by people around you. Uh, this is, again, all to do with cycles in life. And, and I feel that with the North Node, uh, there is a lot of synchronizations that you may be experiencing. Now, in regards to love and romance, um, I do see uh, travel being involved or connected in some shape, way or form. Uh, with a person that is going to be coming in. Now, this is for those of you guys that are currently single. We have Pluto here, and this is all to do with transformation type of energy. Uh, this speaks to us about renewal, inner resources, uh, all to do with um, evolution, growing cycles, death and rebirth, etc. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, You've kind of lost yourself or at some point in the past, you felt like you were losing yourself, perhaps with the idea or the fixation of wanting to be in a relationship. And the past coming months have exposed you or put you in a situation where expansion is necessary. And expansion comes through, again, that of taking on experiences. So travel, uh, going on small road trips, perhaps uh, working uh, getting a job that, you know, uh, has you either traveling or anything like that, that is really going to expose you to people that are not, like I said, not necessarily people that are normally around you. And this is really going to uh, increase as the month goes on. Uh, so again, I do see new uh, love interest coming in for you. And I feel that for some of you guys, it could be, uh, I want to say the end of September, the beginning of October, uh, where you start dealing with this person that you may meet either through work, if you're traveling, um, if you are taking a small road trip, uh, you may meet a person there that is really very worldly is what they're telling me. So worldly could represent a person that likes to travel or a person that has lived in different countries, someone that has a lot of experience um, in regards to uh, life in general. And I do see them coming in and around the time where there's this transformation happening with you. I see you, Virgos, being more empowered. I see you guys becoming more confident, believing more in yourself, and that's a beautiful thing. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that for some of you guys, you're entering this, this cycle um, a little bit more self-aware, uh, knowing exactly what it is that you're expecting from your partner and as well as whenever you feel like you're messing up, you take a step back and you really analyze. Uh, so this is speaking directly about 
uh, Pluto's energy with the North Node, uh, which is that of, again, coming to understanding, becoming wiser through experience. Uh, so very beautiful reading for you, Virgos. Now, the energy is currently uh, influencing you and are being around you. We have recognition. So again, we go back to that of um, travel, being exposed to uh, different people from different walks of life. I feel that if you've been putting a lot of effort, a lot of energy into something, whether it be a relationship, whether it's to try to get the attention of a specific person, they're definitely watching you, Virgo. They definitely are. They've taken notice of you. And recognition comes hand in hand with the first house, uh, which is all to do with the sun entering your first house and the first house is self. Uh, so again, this is recognition. This is people uh, being magnetically pulled towards you. You also have sexuality here. So a lot of you guys exposing, expressing, or even experiencing new uh, a new side to your sexuality, perhaps even putting yourself out there as to not being shackled by any taboos or anything like that. Um, make sure to balance that out. You don't want to over uh experience yourself in a short time uh because obviously you know the energies that we give to other people or that we take on obviously affects us so just be mindful about that and you also have shifting so shifting is a major uh transformative type of energy and it speaks directly about uh aligning ourselves to our purpose or to our desires and not feeling any type of remorse or feeling uh any type of like you know sometimes when people say you know uh, being selfish is a bad thing sometimes it's necessary especially if you have a tendency of over sacrificing yourself to make other people happy so i do see that shift changing for you guys and becoming more self-aware more confident knowing exactly what it is that you want and going for it so kudos to you virgos i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye